so this is the high, the outline of today's class that we would uh, for these topics first is half adder second is full adder similarly half subtractor full subtract for each of this we will see the truth table of those circuit right truth table means what is the relation between inputs and outputs right so that is truth table once we get the truth table we will try to get the minimized the relation i mean how could you implement how can you get the output from the inputs with minimum number of components and minimum number of cost or energy right so that we, you will we will do with map right and next we'll see how can we implement a full header by using two half headers along with one or gate and if time permits we will also see binary header binary header means if you want to add more number of bits like four bit number then how would you do that by using full header circuitry right by using full header so this is what uh, we are going to discuss today so this is we will start with half header half header so what is half header a combinatorial just highlight or underline this word we will discuss it later what is combinatorial circuit and what are sequential circuits so combinatorial circuit that performs the addition of two bits is called a half header correct so <clears throat> if x and y these are the two inputs and x and y both can take values from 0 and 1 right so these are binary and the output is some as well as one more output we call it carry one more bit right and x and y are two inputs two bits which you want to add correct so 0 plus 0 how do you know that do you have any explanation for this 1 plus 0 is 0 and 1 is 1 one, one is so <clears throat> we are adding one bit at a time right so assume that this bit corresponds to this bit corresponds to let's see this bit corresponds to nth position right since so you are adding bit by bit so let us assume that this bit corresponds to nth position right what do you mean when we write zero at the nth position at the nth position you have a zero it means the number there will be zero into 2 to the power n correct correct because this is a by any number any binary number is a representation right so these are the representation and the actual number is if you remember i told you So this is the actual number which we are adding, right? And this is just a binary representation of that number, right? Weights. These are the weights, and we add them, right? Similarly, zero means if we are adding two bits, zero and zero. Let us assume that at this is at some nth position of some number, right? Of some. So you are adding zero. and you are also adding zero 
right? So the answer would be zero into two to the power n. There is no change, right? At the nth position, the weight is same, right? Isko weight bolte hai isko. Anyway, so just number is same, right? The representation is same. Next, one and zero. So if you are adding one in place of zero, now you have one here. One at the two uh, nth position, and there is another number where we have zero at the nth position, right? The summation would be one at the nth position. And since we are not getting anything, carry carry means. Are you forwarding some value to the n plus one at position? We are not forwarding any. We are not doing anything like that. But if we are, if we sum one and one, one into two to the power n, one into two to the power n, add it. What are you getting? Two. Into two to the power n, which is equivalent to one into two to the power n plus one plus zero into two to the power n. Agreed? So at the nth place, you are having zero. This is called sum. At nth plus one place, you are having one. This is called carry. Agreed? By this justification. So if we are adding two ones, right? Two ones, then we will get one carry along with one sum. So this is the, uh, I would say, this is how you should uh, learn the addition of two binary number, binary digit, but bits. Binary digits means bits, two bits. So now I hope everything is clear, right? How would you add? So now we have this table, right? Now we have the truth table. So let's K map for let's write K map for sum and K map for carry. This is a two-variable function. S, right? S is a two-variable function. S is a two-variable function. Similarly, carry is also a two-variable function. Boolean function, right? Two-variable Boolean function because value of C depends on X and Y. Value of S depends on this is the output and these are the inputs. So we want to know what is the relation, right? How should I write? What is the relation? What is this function look like in terms of x and y? So by observing the truth table, we have seen that we are having ones at one zero and zero, right? And others are zero. This is K map representation of this truth table. This is K map representation of the table for this, correct? This column, right? This column. Answer, what would be the answer? Because we cannot further reduce it, we have to write that our sum as a function of x, y is x prime y plus, batao, which is equivalent to, correct? Yes. Next, we have to find out the C X Y, right? Let us see the look uh, the two table. We have only one at one one. So if this is my half header box this is x this is y this is sum this is carry
inside this box you have to make such a connections or inside your box this is one realization right one possible realization so realization of half header using zor and and gate right you can also realize the same thing by using only an and gate correct as all of you have studied in practical classes that an and gate is a is an universal gate right so you can also do that i have also told you the technique right kaise karoge how will you do that if you want to implement xor using an and or i have also told you a technique that if you have a sum of product form how can you convert it to nand how can you realize the whole function using nand gates right first you put nand or then you put two bubbles correct that method so nand gate realization of this two functions is also possible right we have just uh, we are just discussing only one realization there are many realizations possible right and or only nand right <coughs> next what was the next point of our discussion full headers full headers so one that performs this is also a combinatorial circuit uh, we will discuss it what is this term so one that perform one means one uh, one means a combinatorial circuit that performs addition of three bits two signal bits and one previous carry and a previous carry the full header correct so in a way you are if you are adding any number or you can say okay first uh, let us do the same steps which we did so we have three inputs now x y along with the previous carry correct so you can also write xn here but i am just avoiding it just to show that it is a previous you can also write c minus 1 Just to show that it's previous, current is zero, right? Sort of. So we have a sum and carry. If you add zero, 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 we'll get answer of this should be 001 log answer how would you see that at zeroth position at nth you can assume that it is a at the nth position which we are having this or for more clarity you can also write like this zero at the nth position is added with zero at the nth position but you are also having a carry right so from the previous you are also having a carry concept of carry you know from here right if somebody is giving you carry 
correct so you are having a carry so answer would be 1 into 2 to the power sum is 1 but you are not giving any carry to next position so the answer is Zero one one. This is a bit interesting. Zero one one. Correct. This is two, which is equivalent to no. Correct. So at the next position, you had these three things to add three bits, but. You have given one to the next bit, so it is carry. But the, for the current position, you are having zero, right? Bit one zero zero one zero one. Correct. This is the interesting case. Is me? What will be the answer? One one. Ki one zero. How will you see? So you are having two two to the power n. It means one two to the power n plus one, and one two to the power. Correct? Agreed? So you are having one and one. This is your sum. This is your carry. Look, na three into two to the power n, but three to allow nahi. Zero and one is only allowed. So two into two to the power n plus one. You are using binary, right? So each representation. Can take only each alphabet can take only zero and one. Correct. So, this go. The answer is once we are having the foot table, what we can do? K map, right? We have to see. What is the K map corresponding K map? Now your x is now your s is a function of correct three variables. Or you can also call it z. my representation of this s right so we are having once at first place second 0 1 2 if these are the main terms m0 m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 m6 m7 so we are having once at 1 2 4 7 Two. Hmm. One, two, four, seven. One, two, four, seven. Start zero, right? This is a my representation of your table, right? Now you want to reduce it. Right. So the aim is to group or looping to do looping, right? Or you to find out the variables which are having only one bit change. So this is a graphical method which we are using. You can use QM method also, right? But here we are using graphical method, QM method. So we can can we? गलती की मैंने किसी ने point out नहीं किया. So. One, three, sorry. One, two, four, seven. One, two. Correct. So there is no way we can do the looping or make, we can make squares, quad or what? What do you say? Quad, right? Quad or 
two people. Um, the group of two is called? Yeah. So, <clears throat> triplet quad, right? Something like that. Duplet, triplet, quad. So, we can't make it. We can't go further. So, the answer is x prime y prime z plus x y prime z prime plus all are prime implicants here, right? Essential prime implicants. You can also, I mean, I wanted to discuss this, that you can also make a PI chart, just I'm going off topic, PI chart by using KMAP, correct? There are only four prime implicants. First, we have find the prime implicants. What are the main terms which you want to cover? One, two, four, seven. So, main term you want to cover is one, two, four, seven. Your P1 covers this. P2 covers if this is P1. This is P2, P3, P4. So you can see that P1 covers 1, P2 covers 4, P3 covers 7, and P4 covers 2. So there is only one prime implicant under each mint. So all of them are essential. So you can also see. I mean, first make all the possible groups, right? If you want to just see what are the prime implicants, take a bit next, where we have more. We'll do it again, don't worry. See you again. Next answer, what would be the next term? It would be x prime, y, z prime. x, y, z, right? This is how we have this S sum. Next, carry, plot the truth table or K map, draw the K map. Georgia, C five six seven. Three, five, six, seven. Correct? Correct? Here you can see that there will be some prime implicants and some will be essential prime implicants. So, first we can group these two. Correct? Then we group this. And then we group this. Happy with are essential here, right? You cannot ignore because this this term is. Let's look at it once again. P1 covers zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. P1 is this, P2 and P3. This is your. We are doing it by going the uh, a bit of off topic, but it's good to see. P1, P2. Is there any more implicant possible? No prime implicant possible, right? So we can see that. Three, five, six. One covers. P and seven. P two covers six and seven. P three covers five and seven. So all are prime implicants, right? This is also prime implicant. Correct. These are all. I mean, all are essential. Sorry, all are prime essential as well as essential, because you cannot ignore any of them, right? So this is also not that example which I wanted to discuss. But if 
for example we had one more one here just going off topic please if we had one more one here i would have this one as well as this one right now for if we are having if we had two here then p4 and p5 there are two possibilities right either you take this or this so these are not essential these three would be essential p1 p2 p3 but out of p4 and p5 you can choose any right correct because it will solve the purpose that of covering all the main terms so it was just uh, it was just a bit off topic so just cut out okay this is uh, the what would be your uh, function minimized function given hai what is your p1 yz and p2 uh, is xy correct p2 is xy all of you agree p2 this one because x is 1 and y is also 1 z is changing so we are ignoring z for this the answer would be x z correct so this is our function for carry so if it is asked to you to design a full header and it is not given to you that what type of gates you are allowed to use you can use any gate then what would you do you will just put xor here x y then output of this you will put to one more xor so x y z So there is one intelligent way to implement a full header, right? Uh, let me see. We can write this, in fact, like this: that it is x, y, and z. So can we do that? What we can do? we will take this time implicant yz wala first one so if we want to see if we want to implement cx yz alone then this is the minimum possible way right but since we are observing this as a whole right so if somehow we can take output of any of the gate and then we can use another simple one more only one gate which will give you this uh, sum or the carry which will be better right it will be more cost effective right see carry can be implemented like this in and gates and one sorry uh, three and gates and two or gates that we can do agreed but somehow if we can take this this output from here Correct. This is your z, and this can give you carry. It will be uh, most. It will be better or cost-effective way of uh, um, designing full imp, uh, full header, right? So the question is, how can we do that? So we wanted this, right? Uh, let me see. Let me see. So we had these ones. We are taking this. Why is it? and we are left with two ones and we say we are not we are not going to group them instead we will take them separately so this will correspond to x y prime z and this will give us
एक्स वाई जी प्राइम विच इज सेम एज नो एक्स वाई प्राइम दिस इज सेम एज एक्स मल्टीप्लाइड विथ वाई जी दिस इज सेम एज एक्स मल्टीप्लाइड विथ वाई जी वाई जो जी बट आई वॉन्टेड एक्स मेरे को चाहिए एक्स वाई बार एक्स वाई बार जी आई वॉन्ट दिस राइट सो दिस इज एक्स ओके सो आई वॉन्ट एक्स वाई बार जी एक्स वाई एक्स बार जी सो फॉर दिस वॉट यू कैन डू बताओ किसको किसको पेयर करूं इन चारों में से इन दोनों को नहीं इन दोनों को कर दूं अगर सो एज ही सेट इज राइट सो लेट एस ट्राइट वन 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 वील पेयर दिस एंड वील टेक देम इंडिपेंडेंटली सो इट विल गिव यू एक्स वाई एंड दिस एंड दिस Let's try x prime y z, and this is x y prime z. X, so these two, yes, we have it. But a x y to chahiye, right? So the answer is x y is x y z, na? Correct. So this is same as x y plus y z plus Zx. It xz xy plus yz plus xz. Xy plus yz plus zx. It. See, we are just discussing that. Can we further reduce this? now i mean you can implement this c here okay let's go step by step one way is to find out x y y z z x sum them up it will give you so here we will have x y here we will have y z And here will as z and x, and this x will take from here. Correct? ये तो ठीक है. This is one way, but we have also seen that the same function can be written like this. So now we are having x conjugate y to our disposal already, right? because this is our uh x conjugate y right x not conjugate x x or y we have already so we can so uh, we can end it with z and we can have one more and gate so one more possible realization of foot header would be uh this x y this is z now i would end it now and it using this So it will be x y z. Next, we require x y x y. Right. 
एक वी हैव सेव्ड वन गेट आई थिंक राइट ओनली वन गेट कहाँ गया वन टू थ्री फोर हाँ ओनली वन गेट नॉट मच बट इट हैज If you have observed that x y, if you have observed that x y was the output of, you had if you have used half header or studied half header, this was the output of your half header, correct? Because one of the point of our of today's discussion was how to implement full header using two half headers and one AND gate. If you want to realize this, see one way of realization full header is this, right? One way is this, but what we have seen that we can also implement our full header using two half headers. So, let's see. So some function. For the full header was x, y, z. Agreed. Array function was x y plus y z plus z x. But alternatively, not reduced form, but more cost-effective form for us was this. It, this is the same, right? This will you you will get by reducing it. We are not reducing it because we have something previously, right? Correct. But if if we have this, then this will become more appropriate or more practical or more, I would say, cost effective for us. So we are using this. Okay. Let's see if you have two half headers. The output is. This and x y. So, okay. This is one more half letter. The output of this would be a grid. This is the multiplication of these two, right? Half letter. We are having this multiplied with this. Right? So we had this. Now we are you have to use only one OR gate. We also have x y here. We also have x con x x or y multiplied with z. We just need one OR gate to have our C function, which is x y plus x con. So this is how we can implement our full header. This is how we can implement our full header. This is your full header. Just take this out. It will give you some correct. So we have seen half header, full header, and how can we design full header if you have only half headers I see with you and one OR gate. This is a gate question. I mean, in multiple exams, people ask this because it's a chain, right? Half header, full header, full header to binary header. Binary header means you are adding more of a bit of, uh, I mean, n number of bits together at a time. So this we have. Next, what was our aim? To discuss half subtract and full subtract. So we'll go it. Who I mean, let's do it quickly. 
x, y, and borrow. Correct? Here we don't carry, we borrow. If you are subtracting 0 or subtracting 1 from 0, right? Subtracting higher value from a lower value, right? Then you need to take the borrow. borrow. So, if at the 2 to the power nth position we had 0 and we want to subtract with this, can you do that? No. But you can borrow it. You can borrow it, right? So, if you borrow 1 from here, you will get 2. 1 to the power n plus is nothing but 2 to the power n. Right? Agreed? So by borrowing now, you can subtract. 2 minus 1 is? So, I mean, most of the things are easy, but it is difficult when we see 0 and 1. You want to subtract? This is your x, this is your y, right? So at the nth position, you had x, 0, and this y, 1, right? You wanted to do that, but you can't do that yet. You are not able to do that, so you take borrow from the next bit, and the next bit you assume has 1, right? Assume karte na? Nahi hai to phir yaan si hai isse lega, right? If it, I mean, we assume that the next bit has 1, so here it will give you 2, 2 to the power n, right? It has 1, 2 to the power n plus 1, but for you it is 2, 2 to the power n. So you can subtract now 2 to the power n with 1, 2 to the power n, and you will get 1 to the power n. So you are having 1 to the power n, but you have also borrowed, right? So this is the logic. So 0, 0, it's a simple. 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0 is also simple, right? No borrow allowed, needed. And no borrow needed. Yeah, yoga, na? So, what would be the, I mean, nani, right. Thank you for that. Difference. So the task would be the home assignment ki aap inka khud ke map banao, just design. I would write the answer. D, x, y, z would be, dek ke bhi bol sakte ho yaar. Same as, and uh, borrow, mene yaar z galat lik jaya, I'm sorry. Abhi? Ek hi hai to kuch kar nahi sakte, right? X, Y, dash. You can also teach me. Abhi toh loho ko kima hai pura clear ho gaya. Next, full subtractor. Now, it's a put is 3 bits, right? You have given someone a lot of money. In subtraction, this is what we assume, right? If we have given someone a lot of money, borrow, borrow, borrow. Difference, borrow, x, y, and Just write it um, B1 maybe. Yeah, B minus one. So you are in this position, or you have to borrow this position, right? This is what this signifies. 
that you have already borrowed something matlab you are rich 0 0 is easy 0 0 1 now as you can see you have 0 at the 12th position but you have already borrowed it right इसको बारो दे रखा है तुमने बट पनी दोगे ना इसको मिलेगा दैट्स अ सेपरेट इश्यू राइट बट वी आर बॉर्डर्ड अबाउट दिस पॉइंट राइट नाउ एंड वी डोंट नीड एनी डू वी वी विल ना बिकॉज यू नीड टू सब्ट्रैक्ट सो हियर यू विल टेक फ्रॉम हियर टू 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 दावर एंस फ्रॉम हियर यू विल गेट टू 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 दावर एंस राइट को सबको सब कर रहे हो आप ओरिजिनली यू हैव जीरो राइट नाउ करेक्ट एक बारो दे रखे हो पहले से ही माइनस में हो जीरो से घटा रहे हो तो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं बट क्योंकि पहले से माइनस में हो बट हियर यू नीड टू टेक समथिंग राइट सो टू लिया तुमने यहां से एक घटाया यू हैव बारो टू टू दी पावर एन सो आंसर इज वन टू दी पावर एन आंसर इज वन डिफरेंस इज वन बट यू हैव ऑल्सो टेकन वन बॉर यही थोड़ा सा टिकी होता है आई थिंक जस्ट यू नो क्या करें वन जीरो जीरो इज इजी एक सेकेंड आराम से करते हैं जीरो वन जीरो जीरो वन वन सो जीरो वन जीरो इज अगेन यू नीड टू टेक बोरो राइट हाँ बोरो लेना पड़ेगा जीरो वन वन एग्रीड इसको हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू कैन जस्टिफाई दिस यू कैन जस्टिफाई ऑल ऑफ यू सब यू कैन जस्टिफाई राइट वाई आई एम राइटिंग वन ईयर एंड वाई आई एम राइटिंग जीरो ईयर राइट वाई डू वी नीड बोरो एनी वेज सो देन वी हैव वन जीरो जीरो वन जीरो वन 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 जीरो वन 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 सो वन जीरो जीरो इज इसमें तो तुम रिच हो बट डू यू नीड एनी बारो हियर डू यू नीड एनी बारो हियर डू यू नीड एनी बारो यस वन 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 राइट यू वॉन्ट टू सब्जेक्ट वन विथ टू हियर यू टेक टू टू एंस थ्री थ्री माइनस टू इज वन सो वन बट यू आर ऑल्सो हैविंग वन बारो सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन मेक दूटेबल देर इज नो नीड टू रिमेंबर इफ यू नो द लॉजिक अभी वट वुड बी द डिफरेंस जी जी मीन्स This b minus one, ah, huh? difference and uh, borrow. So uh, just try to do it by yourself. Because I have not done it. Can you do it first? Let's do it in two minutes. um 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we have 1 2 4 7 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 जल्दी करो भाई दो मिनट ही है वी है वन टू थ्री सेवन वन टू फोर सेवन वन टू थ्री सेवन 
White one is white is it? Yellow one is X prime C plus plus the red one is plus X and Y. Same <coughs> yeah? I don't know. No, Tora Lagan. This is your uh, borrow for just check it and verify. When about fast here, yeah. 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 So this is how you can implement your full header. Sorry, full subtractor. So as a homework assignment, one 